Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The owner of a suspended trucking company involved in the Humboldt Broncos bus crash began recruiting drivers on Kijiji as early as one month after the tragedy for another trucking company based out of his Calgary home. Suck Mander Singh did not mention what happened to the driver involved in the crash or his suspended company Adish Deal Trucking Limited while advertising for an owner-operator as well as new and experienced truck drivers to work for quality logistics. The ad was posted on Kijiji at the beginning of May. He used his cell phone number and half of his first name. Suck in the advertisement which was taken down one day after CBC News asked Singh about it. Quality Logistics was registered with the Alberta government in 2015 but did not file its annual returns for a few years. By April 14, eight days after the deadly collision it filed those returns and was revived. On April 20, ten days after the suspension, the two directors of Quality Logistics changed the address of their company to a house in Calgary owned by Suck Mander Singh and another person. It is the same place where a dish deal trucking was located. The two directors of Quality Logistics do not have managerial roles in a dish deal trucking according to Alberta Corporation registration documents. It is unclear if they were involved in the company in another role. Quality Logistics did not have any fleet until May when it acquired two trucks, including the one from Adish Deal Trucking that was not involved in the crash. Singh can work as a staff member for Quality Logistics while Adish Deal Trucking is suspended, but he cannot become a manager. If a carrier's SFC is suspended and the owner's Directors or shareholders attempt to operate another carrier Alberta Transportation will investigate to determine the nature of their roles. They might work for another carrier but if they are found to have executive or management roles, Alberta Transportation may suspend, downgrade or apply conditions to the carrier's SFC. Singh said he was recruiting for quality logistics while one of the owners of that company who is a friend, is in India. Quality logistics appears to be operating as a chameleon-like carrier, a term people in the trucking industry use to describe companies that shift business profiles and operations under different entities to circumvent the rules. They need new national standards to close these loopholes. The vast majority of trucking companies across Canada want to see an end to this practice. They are appalled by such practices. To some degree truck drivers should be like airline pilots. They are driving a weapon out there. They are literally driving a weapon out those roads. There should be a minimum standard. Alberta Transportation is now reviewing its entry requirements for commercial operators to identify opportunities for enhancing safety among Alberta-based carriers. Last year Ontario became the first province to make truck driving training mandatory. Drivers must take a minimum of 103 hours, or roughly three weeks of training. In Saskatchewan and elsewhere training remains optional. But governments in Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba are considering whether to make it mandatory. Many people in the trucking industry are beginning to ask whether it is too easy to start a trucking company in Canada. When we operate on a public highway we must be safe. If we cannot live up to that standard of safety and compliance then we do not deserve to make a living in the trucking industry. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.